Hi guys, welcome to this Parachuting 101 tutorial. In this first example I'm going to demonstrate a long distance jump and highlight some of the key controls required. The first thing you need to do is check the flight path of the plane. Press the M key on your keyboard to bring up the map. In your head, draw an imaginary line of the plane's flight path as demonstrated. Long distance jumps are approximately 2000 meters, represented as two large grid boxes, so you want to make this your maximum jump distance in either direction. I have decided to drop at Milter Power, which is slightly over 2000 meters away. The plane will be at its closest point to Milter when the yellow marker is directly at our 9 o'clock, which is exactly level with the plane's left wing. Once the wing and marker are lined up, press the F key to bail out. Using your mouse only, quickly turn your player so that the yellow marker is directly to your 12 o'clock. This task must be completed as quickly as possible, otherwise you will lose too much altitude and won't be able to make your waypoint. At this point, it's important that you are looking upwards towards the horizon as well as holding the W key. Failure to do this will result in falling short of your waypoint. I will quickly demonstrate this in more detail using another clip I have. In this first example, I have bailed out of the plane but I'm not pressing the W key. Notice how my player is slowly falling directly to the ground. Now I look upwards towards the horizon by pushing my mouse forward and pressing and holding the W key. This will force my player to travel horizontally, covering a greater distance. Now I pull my mouse backwards so that I'm looking directly down at the ground whilst holding the W key. This will force my player to head directly down to earth at the fastest possible speed, which is fine if your waypoint is directly below you. Back to our original jump at Milter Power, I am now approaching the point where I need to pull my chute. I judge this based on the position of my landing zone relative to my player. I usually pull my chute when the landing zone is level with my player's head or just above as demonstrated. I should then be able to glide down at the same trajectory as the free fall and hit my mark. As soon as your chute is deployed you need to manage your speed of descent. Make sure your player is looking upwards to the horizon or in this instance Milter Power ahead. Then tap the W key to maintain an airspeed of approximately 30 km an hour. If you find your airspeed is less than 30 km an hour, tap and hold the W key for longer. If you're going too fast, then tap the W key slower and for less. This will look like a rocking motion in the air, but should ensure that you continue to glide towards your landing zone at the optimal airspeed. It's very important to pay attention to your surroundings from the point at which you jump out of the plane to the point at which you land. Use your free look key to look around at all times. You will be able to see where other enemies are landing, specifically those who might be landing close to you, but also enemies landing at nearby villages who are not yet an immediate threat. This will help you decide which location to move to next. In this next example I'm going to demonstrate a short distance jump. Once again we need to check the flight path of the plane and place a waypoint on the map for the desired location. For this jump we will travel approximately 1000 meters, which is the distance from the plane when it's at its closest point to the marker. As per the previous jump we need to wait until the marker is level with the wing before we press the F key to bail out. Once you bailed out, quickly turn your player so that the marker is at your 12 o'clock, look up by pushing forward on your mouse and hold the W key to gain speed. Our main priority now is to get to the selected waypoint before anyone else does and find weapons so that you can defend yourself. For this we need to get to the ground as quickly as possible. Due to the shorter distance we can take advantage of maximum velocity, which enables you to pull your chute lower to the ground. This means you spend slightly less time in the air during the final stages of parachuting, which could mean the difference between life and death. In order to take advantage of maximum velocity, simply do a nose dive directly towards the ground and get your air speed up to 233 km an hour. Your chute will open as normal, but you will be slightly lower than surrounding players who didn't deploy this tactic. This should result in you landing first and being able to get a weapon before anyone else does. That's all I have for Parachuting 101. If this tutorial helped you, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm Falcon Arrow from SoloLeap.com. Thanks for watching.